What's up everybody? In today's class, we're diving into the world of bitwise operators in C++, where binary meets the power of programming. Whether you're a beginner or prepping for coding contests, mastering bitwise operations is a game changer. Let's break it down. All right, here are the bitwise operators in C++. Firstly, and operator, represented by the ampersand sign. It combines two numbers bit by bit. Both bits must be one for the result to be one. Second, or operator, represented by the vertical bar. It combines two numbers, and the result is one if at least one bit is one. Third, XOR operator, represented by a caret sign. It outputs one if the bits are different. Fourth, NOT operator, represented by a tilde sign. It flips all the bits of a number. Fifth, LEFT SHIFT operator, represented by two left arrow brackets. It shifts the bits of a number to the left, effectively multiplying by two. Lastly, right shift operator, represented by two right arrow brackets. It shifts the bits to the right, effectively dividing by two. Let's look at some examples. Let's say we have to perform operations with numbers five and three. Let's create a variable called and operator equals five ampersand three. Let's print it. Character output, double left arrow and operator. After this, just add a new line. Let's run this. So the result will be 1. But how this result became 1? Let's see the procedure behind it. The AND operator returns 1 if both the bits are same. The number 5 in binary looks like this, 0, 1, 0, 1. And 3 looks like this, 0, 0, 1, 1. If we compare this, we compares it from right to left. So 1 and 1 are same, it will display 1. Next, 0 and 1 are not same it will display zero. Next, one and zero are not same. It will display zero. Next, it is also zero because zeros are considered as false value. So false and false can't be true. Hence, the final result is one. You can check whether a number is odd or even by using the ampersand operator. Integer, number, equals, let's say eight. If, number, we will compare it with one. If it returns one, we can see out, odd. Else, See out, even. Let's run this. So 8 is an even number. Next, let's talk about, or operator. This operator checks if at least one bit is 1. If yes, the result is 1. Let's see an example. Int, or, operator, equals, let's use the same values as previous one, 5, vertical bar, 3. Let's display it. Character output, or operator. Let's run the program. As you can see, it returns 7. But how does this 7 came? Well, you know that or operator returns 1 if at least 1 bit is 1. So 5 in binary is 0, 1, 0, 1. And 3 in binary is 0, 0, 1, 1. Let's compare them. 1 or 1 will return 1. 0 or 1 will return 1. 1 or 0 will return 1. 0 or 0 will return 0 because both are false values. So we get 0, 1, 1, 1 in binary. Now we have to convert this into a decimal number. 2 to the power 0 is 1 plus 2 power 1 is 2, plus 2 power 2 is 4, and we don't calculate zeros. Hence, the final result will be 7. Next, let's talk about XOR operator, also pronounced as ZOR. This checks if the bits are different. If they are, the result is 1. Otherwise, it's 0. Let's test it. Int XOR operator equals 5, caret sign, 3. Let's display it. Character output. ZOR operator. Let's run this. As you can see, it returns 6. Now let's see the procedure behind this output. We have already discussed the binary form of these two numbers. Let's perform the ZOR operation. We have already discussed that it returns 0 if the bits are same. So, 1 and 1 are same bits, the result will be 0. 0 and 1 are different, result will be 1. 1 and 0 are also different, result will be 1. 0 and 0 are same, so it will return 0. Now the final binary number we got is... 0110. If we convert it into decimal number, it will be 6. Hence, the final answer is 6. Next bitwise operator we're going to talk about is NOT operator, denoted by tilde. This operator flips each bit of a number. If a bit is 1, it becomes 0. If a bit is 0, it becomes 1. Let's see an example. Integer, NOT, operator, equals, tilde sign, and a number let's say 5. Let's display it. Character output, NOT, operator. Let's run this. So the output we got is minus 6. Let's see the procedure behind this result. 
If we take the binary representation of the number 5 in an 8-bit system, it will look like this. Now let's flip all the bits. After flipping, the bits will look like this. If the result starts with 0, it's a positive number, so you can directly read it. If the result starts with 1, it's a negative number in 2's complement. To find the decimal value, take the 2's complement of the result. Invert all the bits. Add 1 to the inverted bits. Add a negative sign to the result. Since the result starts with 1, it's negative. Let's invert all the bits. Now add 1 to it. Note that 1 plus 1 equals 10 in binary. Now we got the final binary number. If we convert it into decimal number, we will get 6. And the last step is to add a negative sign. Hence, the final answer is minus 6. Next, we have left shift operator, denoted by the double left arrow bracket. The left shift operator shifts the bits of a number to the left by a specified number of positions. Let's create a variable called left shift equals 5, double left arrow, let's say shift the bits by position 1, character output, left, shift, let's run this, so the answer will be 10, now let's break it down step by step for better understanding, all bits in the binary representation of a number, are shifted to the left by the specified number of positions, after shifting, the empty positions on the right are filled with 0, shifting left by 1 position is equivalent to multiplying the number by 2, Shifting left by n positions is equivalent to multiplying the number by 2 to the power n. 5 in binary, in an 8-bit system, is this. After left shift by 1, it will look like this. The bits are shifted left, and a 0 is added on the right. So the result in decimal is 10. You can also visualize this as 5 times 2 to the power 1. It will also give the same result. Similarly, we have right shift operator. This operator shifts all bits to the right by a given number of places. Each shift right divides the number by 2, integer division. Let's create a variable called right shift operator equals 5, double right arrow, this time let's say 2, character output, right shift operator. Let's run this. So the answer we got is 1. We can calculate this as 5 divided by 2 to the power 2. So 5 upon 4 is 1. Although the approach is same as the left shift operator which we already have discussed. So. Why do you use bitwise operators? Well, they are faster because they work directly with hardware-level binary. Bitwise operators may look tricky, but they're incredibly powerful tools for optimizing code. Practice with simple tasks, and you'll soon see their magic in action. And that wraps up our deep dive into the bitwise operators in C++. I hope this explanation helped you understand how powerful and efficient bitwise operations can be. Whether you're working on low-level hardware programming or optimizing algorithms, mastering these operators is a key step in becoming a stronger programmer. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more programming tutorials and deep dives. Let me know in the comments what other topics you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching.